Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for today's video. And in the last episode, you guys saw this happen. As you guys can see, totally destroyed the bearing. There's a lot of play. Way out in the woods. He's 18 kilometers from a truck. Yeah. So if you guys didn't see that video and you do want to see the rest of it, it'll be linked up in the corner. But other than that, let's go ahead and hop into what happened and I'll go over and we're going to give you a little bit of rundown of the situation of exactly what happened. We're ripping down this trail, you know, cruising along, no problem. Whoa. There's a couple of these logs, a couple sticks that you're like hopping over, whatever, you know, no big deal. It's normal. You're just going out for a cruise, going out for a ride. So here you can see me. I got a big smile on because I'm having a whole lot of fun. Here you can see the Apollo RFZ. Now on our way back to the truck at the end of the day, we started riding back home. Now here I am, I'm about to do a little bit of a jump off this log and as soon as I do and I get into the air, you can see a little bit of poop here come out of my butt because I was like, oh my goodness, this is gonna be bad. And when I landed, the back wheel went cockeyed sideways and as you can see, the wheel has got a lot of sloppy joe play in it. And as you guys might be able to see down here, here is what's left of our bearing, which uh, as you can tell, that's not supposed to be like that. And that's supposed to be in the center of the wheel in there. So getting the bike out of the woods was a whole nother story. The event happened and the situation went down and uh, I was like, okay, this sucks. Like, oh well, but that was not even the worst part yet because we still had to get out of the woods. So that was a really long time of taking this thing in first gear, hearing things grind and just like chew. So we're gonna dig into the damage, see what's up with it and see if we can go ahead and fix it in today's video. So we're gonna go ahead, stick this thing up on the crate and uh, let's start pulling it apart. And this is where the bearing was. And there you can see what's left of it is just the race hanging out. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pull the wheel off and dig a little bit deeper into it. Oh boy. So there's our bearing seal or what's left of it anyways. There's our bearing race. Pull the chain off, slide it out of the brake. And there's the center portion of the bearing. Now this is what it's supposed to look like here with a bearing inside the center. And this is what it looks like now. We got the insert portion left. There's that with uh, part of the inner bearing. It's got a little bit of the inner bearing rubber seal left on the center there. Man, yeah, just absolutely ate. No ball bearings or anything left. Absolutely toast. There's our center section. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's no bearing. So that's what I was riding on. I was riding on the race of this rim. So now what we're hoping for is that the new bearing is gonna go in there half decent. And we're gonna find out uh, if we can fix this or if it's totally just destroyed everything. Something else to note is when it broke is you can see the rotor right here, how it's super shiny where it's not the actual like rotor piece. It's like the mounting section here where it's been rubbing. Now if you look right there, you'll see where it's real nice and shiny where the rotor was rubbing on the mounting bracket. So uh, we'll hope that the rotor is not completely toast as well. So now we have our wheel up on the bench. As you can see, we're missing the bearing there. We have the bearing in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and try and pop this one out because we have two bearings to replace inside of it. And then when I dig in here, I see that there's also a, a rubber seal or O-ring. I'm not sure if that's part of the old bearing, but something that's in there. Now these are all the other parts that we have left uh, from our bearing. Now, as you can see, this was all one unit. That used to be the center of the bearing. Then we had our seal that went around this ring that would sit on this guy. And then the ball bearings would be in there. And this is what completely blew apart on the trail, resulting in this axle being rid on by the axle bolt. These are what this is supposed to be like. But as you can see, it's completely separated. We need to see if we can punch this out. So we're gonna need uh, something long like this, like an extension. Then we're gonna take something on the top of it and we're gonna hammer it down. So now we got our tapometer and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can tap this out. Oh, she's coming out, she's coming out. Just gotta give her a bit more, a bit more uh, persuasion. There we go. Let's see this one blow apart. Oh, it's still, uh, oh, it's rough. That one looks like it's gonna be a tight fit, so that's good. Let's see if it's messed up. It's tight, but not that bad. I mean, I'm gonna just stick it in there and call her good. I, these are definitely supposed to be press fit, but this is kind of what happens when you uh, warp out the hub a little bit from having the actual axle shaft, like rubbing around as we rode it for 20 kilometers trying to get out of the woods. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of a, a rubber mallet and just tap that in a little bit so it's right nice and flush. So you wanna make sure you're tapping on the race if you're gonna use a hammer and not the center here. That feels pretty gosh darn good. 
Happy with that, boys, because I'm pretty sure this O-ring sits down on this tube. Then we take the tube, center that up, right down in there, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna take our other bearing. So we're getting in there, it's getting seated. Trying to make sure that center section is centered. Okay, that feels pretty nice there. Go ahead and see if we can throw this back on the bike and see if we're good. Now it's important that we put the correct spacer on the correct side. We do have two different spacers. The extra wide spacer goes on the chain side and the short stubby one goes on the brake rotor side. All right, moment of truth, let's see if there's any wiggle. Nothing. It's like new boys. And just like that, we have fixed wheel bearings on the Apollo RFZ. Hell yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one, out on the trails. Hell yeah.